dead. We need to pick her. Hello, mommy. Hey, mama. Happy 13th birthday to you. Thank you, mommy. Uh, mommy, what I'm about to say you will not like. My trip to Abuja got cancelled. And I have to be in Calabar first thing tomorrow morning for a presentation. Well, I thought you were going to be here. Daddy has no plans and you promised that you made this day memorable for me. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. You know how hard I've worked for this thing. It's finally happening. As soon as I return, I will make it up to you. You're going to have the best birthday ever. that now I promise you as soon as I return fine it's not like I have any other choice anyway don't be sad oh um good luck mom somebody's at the door I have to go love you hey where you going don't bother mommy's not coming back <laughs> How's everything? Fine. Why did you do that? Well, because I figured a little surprise would in the first. It worked. It's getting worked up already. Mm. Wait, Dad, you knew about this. Uh, oh no, remind me to kill the both of you. We will. We will. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm? I didn't plan that. <laughs> Come, let's have some fun, huh? Hmm? Okay. Is it bad? It's right there. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll help you with this one. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hip. Okay, Mama, so you need to cut your cake. Uh, that would be at the mention of Jesus. Then you would also need to make a wish. Now, that wish should be something very dear to your heart. Okay? Something for your 14th birthday. Don't worry, next year will be better than this. You know? But, well, Mommy, that's next year. Are you sure you're going to be able to handle that? Oh! Oh, 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 yes. my heart, <laughs> help me pick it up. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, you go ahead. Uh, you ready? Yes. Your wish? J E S U. Okay, so what I want for my 13th birthday. I already have both of you on my parents and Auntie Akuni as my godmother, so that is more than enough. <laughs> I want life for all of us. Aww. Okay, that's my note. <laughs> she should exactly just like me. <laughs> so, here you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> No, young lady, you see, the way I come from, when you receive gifts, you open it in private and say a heartfelt prayer over it. Gifts bring us good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Over there. Yes, yes. Telegram, Stalin. <laughs> you <laughs> This is awesome. Mm. This is awesome. Gluton. Anyway, there's key. That's what they see. I mean, you should taste this. Gluton. You need help. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
babe. Babe, hey, can we talk? Oh, what? I'm tired. I'm I want to go visit Susan. What did you say? She's my sister-in-law. If you want to be apart from them, I don't want to. Look, Julian, you're my wife. It's only natural that you inherit my friends, likewise my enemies. That is a lie. I am not your property, Kewe. I want to go visit Susan and her family and spend time with them. At least get to know them. They are my family too, you know. Look, in case you've forgotten who your families are, your poor mother in the village, our children in the boarding school, and myself, your husband, we are the only family you have now. Kewe! Look, let this be the first and last time you talk about my brother and his wife in this house, okay? Why do you hate them so much? I don't hate them. I don't hate my brother. He made his decision. My mother and I made ours too. He's the one that chose that woman over us. That's because he loves her. We also love him. Should have thought about that. Look, Julia. Stop bothering yourself with these things. Please, just come to bed. Please, babe. She goes to sleep. Hey, hey. Hey. How are you? I'm alright. Why are you just coming? It's work, babe. I expected to meet you snoring. Snoring? Yes, yeah, snoring. Why would I snore? Oh, come on, baby, you snore. Maybe when I'm tired. Oh, my God. What? You snore. I don't. You snore. Okay. You win. <laughs> Maybe this night I'll take a recording uh, of you sleeping. You wouldn't do so, that. Uh, well, uh, well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you give me some time to refresh up. I have some sizzling gist for you. Okay. Talking about time. How does nine months from now sound? Are you still I'm pregnant? <laughs> yes, I'm pregnant. Wow. I'm so excited. I'm just. <laughs> What is it? God. I don't want anything to happen to this one. I said nothing is going to I just... Don't worry, take it. It's fine. Um, hello? Is this Ovia Umukoro? Yeah, Ovia Umukoro speaking. This is Fight Manager, Niger Port Authority. Sorry, I'm reaching out now. Just can't wait. I've been dealing your shipment. The vessel has got our shipment towards the internal waters of Cambodia on the post pressure. I'll reach out as soon as we have more information. Alright. Thank you. Is everything okay? Yeah. We're gonna have a baby. so worked up already. The freight manager said if anything goes wrong, he would call you. And he hasn't called. So sad. No smooth sailing vessel enters a foreign internal waters without being distressed. I've got millions in that vessel. If, if anything goes wrong, the path. Nothing is going to go wrong. You're a Christian. Where's your faith? Amen. Smile on that. 
Christian face of yours. Bring it out. Bring it out. Yeah. Get it. Nothing will go wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can go. Susan. They say there will be other pregnancies that will stay. Okay? This is the sixth miscarriage. I mean, I understand that you've been very supportive. But I see it in your eyes, deep down, you wish things were different. There is nothing we should be doing differently than staying strong. You will be fine. You will be fine. Um, can you please offer some help to Ufoma? I don't know what it is she's doing, but just help her out, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Susan, can she not know about all the troubles? No, 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 stop. <laughs> you can't continue doing this. I mean, when you're stressed, when things like this happen, you're supposed to either take a walk, go play, or probably go even sleep, and then you come back to it. Mm. I have limited time for this essay, so I can lead in the essay competition. And Eunice already wrote something that everybody in the school loves. I'm not disputing that. I'm just saying that if you keep doing this, you keep putting pressure on your brain. Meanwhile, what you need is to be creative. And in order to harness your creativity, you need to rest the brain. Can you me my essay competition? <laughs> oh. I would have loved to help you. It's just that I will not be there to defend it. Mm. Hey, come here. Ufoma, you are the best when it comes to writing things like this. And I believe so much in you. That is why I want you to write it and make us proud. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. That reminds me, your teacher said that you got into a fight with Eunice. Mom, she bullies me. Really? Yes. 
So that's enough reason for you to fight. There's no reason. You're not allowed to fight. You're not supposed to fight. Do you understand? Good. Well, pack up. You've had enough. You've done enough for one day. Pack up and then you'll get you tomorrow. Gosh. How many times do I need to remind you to stop getting into fights with Eunice? Is this how we brought you up? Your dad will be very disappointed if he finds out. Oh, mommy, she pulled my hair. She got jealous because my essay was better. Then you be the bigger person and walk away. Listen. If I get one more report that you got into a fight, I will report you to your dad and I will have you grounded for three weeks. What is wrong with you? Have you forgotten who you are? Who are you? I'm a child of God. What? I'm a child of God. Good. A child of God doesn't fight. A child of God doesn't quarrel. A child of God doesn't use abusive words with intentions to hurt. And if you ever find yourself in this type of situation, I need you to... Ufoma! 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 Mommy! Mommy, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh my God! Oh my God! Thank God. What happened? She just oh. collapsed. Any history of fever lately? Um, yes, she... She has not been eating even after the multivitamin you gave her. She has lost quite a amount of weight from the last time I saw her, so I would recommend ultrasound diagnosis, CT scan or MRI. I will let Dr. E give you on the note. Your doctor? Your boss, Dr. Ige, he's an oncologist. He's a, he's a cancer specialist. Does she have cancer? Um, the test will help us attain for sure, but for the meantime, I need you to take out. Um, you have to excuse me. Oh, baby. Is she supposed to be doing that? No. I don't want to stop her so she doesn't become suspicious that her condition is critical. I mean, that will kill her faster than cancer. Wow. She doesn't have cancer. At least not yet. The thing is, Why does a sick person go see an oncologist? 
and the tissue surrounding the uh, tumor in her kidney. Well, the ultrasound test shows that the lump started in the kidney and both kidneys are affected. So she must be moved immediately for radical nephrectomy if she's to stand any chance. Are you lost by any chance? She needs to undergo a transplant immediately because both blood filtering organs, in this case the kidneys, are affected. I will donate. Um, in that case, we'll need to run some tests, uh, some compatibility tests, and then we'll take it from there. So, when we run the test, we'll just take it from there. Tell me you are still looking for this bracelet. Uh, yes. You can't find it. Let's go. I mean, Obia will soon be back, and I don't want him to get home without me. Well, well, go if you must. I mean, Susan, you just managed to make this all about you. I am the one whose bracelet is missing, and I know I had it here with me to the moment we started playing house. But for the record, it's not just any bracelet. My godmother gave it to me. Would you be Ukoma's godmother? And I'm talking about bracelets. You're talking. Wait a minute. What did you just say? And who is Ukoma? My daughter? Pregnant? God! Congratulations! Thank you! Thank you. But you had it all in your hand! Well, I know how important it is to you. That's why I want to officially ask you to be my daughter's daughter. I will! No, be careful before you make any comments. I don't want a godmother who is there or who just comes to take pictures and, and go. I want a godmother who is going to be a mother to my child. I mean, she's going to have two mothers and a father. I know, right? Just in case anything happens to me, I want you to be there for her. Oh, so that nothing will happen to you, okay? Because I'm so happy for you! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know. I don't know, Susan. I should have done something. I should have done anything. I don't know. I should have saved us from this trouble. We don't want to lose her. Listen to me, Susan. Listen to me. We're not going to lose her, okay? We're going to fight this like one close knit family that we are. I'm going to stop you. You are no man. We'll tell the God of Cancer that she found the wrong kid, okay? She's fine. It's okay. I think you should go have some change of clothes. No, I don't want to look very well. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, you're not compatible for the transfer. Uh, blood type is okay. Cross match is okay, but it's. Actually, testing is not. Someone else has to do this. God. I'll do it. Baby? You see that we have so many options here, do we? Excuse me. I can't let you do that. I can't watch you go under the knife, babe. Well, it wasn't easy for me as well when you opted to go under the knife. It's not about me or you. It's about our daughter, Queer. Sir, the vessel captain Cruise shipment and passengers on board never made it to the internal waters of Cambodia. We gathered that a group of pirates attacked and coerced the vessel. Where? Well. We have no idea, sir. But be rest assured, we are contacting the best hands. All right, I, I wanted to do whatever there is. My life and the life of others depend on that shipment. Yes, I know. Thank you. Hey, you're not going to fool me with that smile. What is it? I thought we agreed no secrets. The vessel was attacked by pirates and coerced to an unknown destination. Never made it to Cambodia. Oh. Baby, I'm so sorry. Listen, uh, it's okay. I, I need you to go home and get some proper sleep. No, I don't want to go home. Uh, listen, it's, this is not up for a debate. Okay? Just go home, I'll be here. Good morning, Susan. I'm going to go to school. 
concerned about, I'm more concerned because she lives by the cave. The principal's can carry the rats. Thank you so much. That was very thoughtful of every one of you. We'll continue to pay for a quick recovery. I regret to inform. We'll have to drop out from the AC competition. It's okay. We don't really understand. It's fine. Thank you. How to join me now? Thank you for coming. I really wanted her to go for that competition. I know what it means to her. I've never seen her study for anything like this. It's okay. There's still a lot of competitions, okay? It's yes. alright, come. Where's that? Babe, what's the problem? Your niece is sick. Who for ma? Yes. How did you know? Have you been talking to them? No. So how did you know? I heard about it. From? From someone. And this someone doesn't have a name. Babe, I don't think you should be bothered about how I got this information. What matters right now is that your niece is sick. We need to go visit them, you know. See, I'm sure it's nothing serious. If he was serious, Ovi would have reached out to me. He knows I'm always here for him. Besides, don't expect me to reach out to him first. Ovi walked out on all of us. Are you being serious right now? So you think he's going to call you even if it's a matter of life and death? Come on, babe. I think it's high time you set your grudges aside and sort out your differences with your brother. Honestly, I'm just being concerned. Have you thought about becoming my brother's second wife? Because your love for him exceeds mine. Did you just say that to me right now? Kewe, Kewe, are you okay? Kewe, I'm talking to you. Are you being serious right now about what you said? I'm talking to you, Kewe. Kewe, you're so unbelievable. Hmm. Okay, uh, it seems like there's a hitch as to why she may not be able to donate her organ. Your medical history here proves that you have had still suffer diabetes. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. I know, but you should taste this one. You need help. I need help. Yes. No, I'll save my money. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You are high risk, and there are great risks associated. Medically, it's not advised that you carry on with the transplant. I would have advised the organ procurement bank, but there are a lot of people on the waiting list. Someone else has to do this. The more we wait, the more I'm most likely going to resort to dialysis three times a week, which will severely limit our impair her quality of life. Wait, let me get something right. You mean to tell me that you didn't tell your husband about your diabetic health issues? No. Why? Kumi, because he had so much on his plate. 
He was trying to get capital for his importation business. You know, and, and a whole lot more. And I didn't feel like it was the right thing to do. And now he'll be disappointed. Because first, the business is at the risk of crumbling. I'm worried about Upoma's health. And now he finds out that I've been keeping a secret. These are no justifications, Susan. No, I should have told him. But you didn't. You had to. So where is he now? I don't know. He was really mad when we left Dr. Ege's office. <sighs> I see. Well, you need to find him, make things right, so we can decide who is doing this for the former. Well, you know, it can't be either of us. Okay. I want to get tested. Yes. We are compatible then now. Donate one of my kidneys for her. No. Why? You have your whole life ahead of you. A beautiful career. Why would you want to throw all that away? This was well cut out, Susan. I mean, if anything goes wrong, I have no regrets. Yes. Remember I made a promise to you when you asked me to be her godmother? And I would do anything humanly possible to keep to that promise. I mean, what is honor if men renege on your promises? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. It's okay. It's okay. A certain warrior had just returned from fighting for his nation, only to find out that his wife and kids had been captured. And soon after, their heads returned to him on a spike. He was so heartbroken, and he turned to taking tons and tons of alcohol. Then he realized that every time he didn't have alcohol in his system, the memories of everything just kept trailing him. He decided to do the right thing. 
confronting his fears. He stopped drinking. Not that the pains left, but at least he was able to deal with it and live with it. The pains didn't leave. I was looking out for you. I knew raising capital to expand your business was enough trouble. I didn't want to add to it. Yeah. How is it supposed to make you feel? I'm supposed to feel better. <clears throat> right? Sorry, I should have told you. But you didn't! You didn't. I know how that makes me feel. Um, sorry for interrupting. No, sorry. Oh, don't worry. So, I I want to donate an organ for Ufoma. That's Evo compactable. Did you hear me? Of course I did. Unfortunately, that cannot happen anymore. Why? Because having our daughter back on her feet is more important than what should have been. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about her. Please, don't walk away. You know, sometimes I just wonder if, if you were just selfless to a fault or you just intentionally do not let me all the way in. You've had six miscarriages and I got to find out about everything all by myself. You really let me know when you take in, say for the last time. My life has been surrounded with so much miseries and miscarriages. What do you want me to do? Keep talking about it. Do you think I'm happy that we only have Ufoma? Do you think, do you think I'm happy that she's about to slip off our fingers? No. I'm not happy to. How long has this been for? Twenty-one months. <sighs> 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 if you please, if you please. I didn't tell you because there's nothing you would have done. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about my health. But what would you have done differently? I, I would have been worried at least. That's something. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The last time I checked, there's no written medical policy restricting me from donating an organ to a minor who needs it the most. It's unethical to get too close to your patients. But for my, it's not just any patient. She's my goddaughter. I was there when her parents fell in love. I was deaf, her Christian, and I will be dead for the rest of her life. You don't know what you want to do. 
You don't deserve to keep you awake for a while. I don't care. Don't pay me till I get back to work. Who am I going to talk to this place? You're the most capable man that I have. You can't trust anybody else in my absence. <laughs> I see. You certainly never change. I've gone doing so much. But if you take a second to think about any other person other than yourself, maybe, just maybe, your wife and children will still be here. Excuse me. What's going on? I'm resigning. I need you to apply for a discharge immediately and I will have them send in the bill or transfer it to another hospital. Why? I volunteered for a transplant if we're compatible, but he would rather have me run here than save a life. And you want to resign? Yes. At least he, he will not want to object to me donating a kidney to Ufoma if I no longer work here. You, you're making a mistake. I'm trying to fix one. Yeah. to resume school, the other competition is close by. Louis, you can't be talking about resuming school. You need to get better first. I didn't tell you your teacher was here and they are dropping you from the competition. Don't be like that, mommy. Other competitions will come and you will participate. Can you? I couldn't have resigned because Dr. Ike would object to her donating a kidney for for my wife. Wow. She told me she wanted to get tested, but I didn't think that Dr. Ike would object to it. I quit. And I believe if you advertise for a vacancy, you have hundreds of qualified job seekers here in the next minute. So, Doc, would you get me tested? Not as your employee, but as a godmother who wants to save the life of her daughter. Or do we transfer to another hospital? Just what I thought. Have a good life, Dr. Ige Fadi. Wait. You do know I cannot afford to lose you to this. You're both not compatible with this. What? Let me see it. <laughs> Do it again. I need to be sure. Excuse me. You 
called me all sorts of names. Please don't add liar and manipulator of scientific machines to it. <laughs> I am sorry. Me too. If you still want to leave, please do keep in touch. I never left. When your godmother gave you this necklace, she said it was going to bring good luck. For her, I need this good luck now more than ever. Very soon, my baby will be 14. Just look at her. All she ever wished for was life. Life for herself and life for all of us. Something she's not even promised of. It's okay. Everything is going to be fine. I I need to take a break. Could you please watch over her for me? Sure, I will. Look at this. What's that? It's a promotion meal from my company. Oh. Yep. Come here. Congratulations, me. Oh, uh, what's wrong? Don't give me this look. See, you worked out for this, hmm? You deserve it. Now you've earned it. I won't be happy. I know. But. But what? I've been transferred as well. I've also been promoted as the branch manager of my company. Okay. But not in Lagos. Wow. Damn! These people are so good at playing this office politics. And it's, it's so disgusting. Wow. Babe. You know I've really worked so hard for this, right? Yeah. I've also toiled day and night. And this is how they choose to pay me back. They should have just not given me a promotion instead of, you know, sending me far away from my family. Why were you posted? Ibadan. Then you're going. Babe. Hey. See, babe. You worked hard for this. Hmm? I won't let this opportunity slip off your finger. Besides, the kids are grown. And you need time for yourself too. Hmm? So what about you? I'll be fine. <laughs> no, babe. I feel we should talk about this. I said, I'll be fine. Hmm? Come here. You know what? Yeah. I'm actually going to walk my transfer back to Lagos, okay? Just in a couple of months. You're going to be fine, right? Yep. I believe you. That's my baby.
chicken. My brother's birthday, birthday is approaching, and all she ever asked for was life. I want to do what you give me. Okay, um, I don't want to create end stage renal disease on you. Taking out one kidney will leave you with just one. Your diabetic and prone to failure in the long run. But I went through Dr. Cohen's research. And it states that patients who receive a diabetic donor kidney have 9% lower risk of dying, with mortality rates of 35 to 1,000. There's something called the Hippocratic Oath in practice. Dr. Akonne, didn't you tell her? Laws are made by rich capitalists to control the poor masses. Each of all I want is for my god daughter to be back on her feet again. I'm disappointed in you. The god of medicine will bow her head in shame to you. Don't let your fragile emotions get the better of you. But we didn't say what he's going to tell. What about your husband? He doesn't have to know until the whole thing is done. No, 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 please, please, no. You realize I could lose my license for this? So, so I would do anything for my family. And if you were in my shoes, you would do the same thing for your family. Please don't talk about my family. You have a chance to do what is right. So what would it be? I'm not a part of this. I'm walking out of this place and I'm leaving with my daughter. Do you understand? I hope that your decision, you, you are happy with whatever decision that you have made. <laughs> It's fine. So what is it? They called. They found the vessel completely raided. Captain and crew murdered. I've lost everything. Now the bank is going to come after me. Wow. Ruby, I'm so sorry. Um, I, I don't want to sound insensitive, okay? I need us to take her out of this place now. Concerning your money troubles, we can sort it out later. Because this doctor is so clueless as to what to do. I mean, we're just going to keep leaving her here and wasting our time. I want to take her to somewhere where they can take care of her. I need to talk to my family. Somebody could help. Your family? <laughs> okay, your family doesn't like me because I'm evil. Did you forget? I'm not stopping you from talking to them, but I'm not going to wait for you. Can you just stay here for a while, please? I need to step out. There just has to be a way. Please, I'll be back, okay?
have you been? Fine. I went to the house and I stood up find you here. What's up? Why are you looking for me? Why are you looking for me? Does Mama know? Nobody knows. You never change. How can you keep something this big to yourself? What should I have done? Reach out, of course. You amuse me, big brother. Reach out, really? Yeah? You know what, Kevin? The phone works both ways. Alright? Now, when was the last time any member of the family checked up on Susan and I, or even our daughter? When? Yeah, I get it. Nobody cares. Nobody in the family likes her because of her tribe, because of where she comes from. But guess what? She didn't choose it. Look. Essie would have made a better wife. Can you, can, you, can you hear yourself? Can you just listen to yourself? Huh? How would you be this tribalistic? How would you be this tribalistic? That, that, that's the same thing that has kept this country the way it is right now. Thanks for coming all the same. I haven't been to my back to the earth. Thank you all the same. No, no, no. Where's your phone? Welcome. Did, 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 you, did you watch Susan take too much another hospital? I, I told her not to! Um, no, she didn't. Okay. Okay. The waiting room. Who's donating? Who's, who's, who's donating? Susan. What? Do you remember when Mama gave birth to our last sibling, Ruth? She was in a prolonged labor. You know, when they said we were moving her in for a CS, you came to me where I was seated crying. You said we should pray for a miracle. Ovi, though I'm older than you, you've always been the stronger one here. Let's pray that when every medical procedure doesn't help, that there will be a miracle for both of them. <clears throat> Let's pray. Really. Let's pray. Really. 
So, any news? Yeah, well, partly. The little girl is sound and uh, will continue chemo. Mother is pretty much unresponsive from the general anesthetic. And so, what, what now? So, I'll move her to the surgical ICU for a neurological consultation. Nobody's allowed in. Hey, 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 listen. Let me tell you something. If anything happens to my wife or daughter, I'm gonna pluck out those eyes, tear at me, drown them to pieces, and stick them where the sun doesn't shine. I don't have time for these games. Stop wasting mine. Can we go now? She's not eating. She's sad. Listen up for her. If I was in your mom's shoes, she would do the same thing to keep the hope alive. All I want for her to do now is to do the exact same thing she would have done. Keeping the hope alive. Come on, don't worry. Mommy is gonna come around, okay? Miss Vaughn. Ah. Yeah. I know. Eunice won an essay competition. You won the fight against cancer. That, my love, is the biggest thing ever. It makes you the biggest winner. There will, there will be all the essay competitions. Wait, wait, wait. Who is Eunice? Eunice is a very well candidate in the essay competition. She wasn't able to be a part of because of her health. Come on. Cheer up and eat, eh? There will be other competitions. Please. Sorry, this is as far as you're allowed to Doctor, you, you, you can't possibly deny us the liberty to spend our last days with her. Please. Okay, um, please watch her closely. Don't let her overburden herself. Her wound is not yet healed. Okay? Please. Thank you, bye. Mommy, Mommy. Mommy, Mommy, can you hear me? Oh. Thank you for everything. Ovi, you need to come home after all this. What are you waiting for? I don't know what you're talking about, Kerry. I didn't leave. It's the family that didn't want Susan. They didn't like her. I know. The same Susan that, that has 
put her life on the line to save one of us. I don't know, I don't know. I really don't know, Kerry, but... You all know where I live. If you guys change your mind, you know where to find me. All right. Whatever happens, eh? Please let me know. Sure. And you, bro. Take care of yourself, eh? I will. I'll call you. Thank you. How are they? You know, I can't believe Ovi chose to go through this all by himself. Well, I'm glad he finally reached out, you know. Yeah, me too. But um, I feel bad. First his daughter, now his wife. So, are you not going to visit them at the hospital? You know, I have something important I need to quickly finish up at the office before leaving. But I'll try to stop by on my way out. But I'm not promising you anything. Do you really have to go? Baby, if you don't want me to go, I can stay. Mm. Listen, you can always visit. And I can always visit as well. We can make it work, babe. You have to. I'm just, just wondering, I'm going to cook all by myself here. Um, I know. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, my darling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a naughty boy. Yeah. Make sure you be a good boy, okay? I'll try. Yeah, that's my darling. Mm -hmm. She passed. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm glad you're good. I'm glad you're okay. Susan walked nine days to from us for ten per day. She hardly talked. When a speech value was implemented, she started talking. Following commands, but she was still not oriented with respect to time, place, and person. Her cognitive function recovered slowly as well. That's so so. Family, to love, and to friendship. Thank you all for accepting me as one of you. Thank you for making me realize that family goes beyond just being blood relations. Family is much more. Yes, to form us remarkable fortune that they said. Yes. <laughs> So 
What is he doing here? Uh, he was going to donate his kidney for for now. That doesn't change anything. You know, um, we are done fighting what you and my brother share. I don't know how we allowed tribal sentiments overcrowd our judgments. Thanks to you and your family. I know. I'm, I'm actually here to make the family all the game. Hmm? I represent every member of the family that has been one with another chastised you. We're really sorry, Susan. Please. I am sorry. Forgive us, please. Please, Susan. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Please um, have a seat. I'll get another. No, no. He won't stand, and you sit. I'm thinking about your sits. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Never have I felt happier all my life. Family is indeed the most beautiful thing. My family came through. It was and still is one of the best moments of our lives. I could not service the bank loan, neither could I pay back. So the bank took over our property I had given as collateral. That doesn't hurt in any way because it wasn't the two most important things in my life that I lost. It was money and my house. At the moment, we have two houses to decide where to settle. Dr. Ige had promised us one and my brother, Kewe, who is an estate developer, has a massive mansion in one of the choicest areas in town. So we move. 